Okay, now that we have our existing drainage network laid out, let's go ahead and annotate it. Uh, first of all, let's display it. So go to Drainage, View, Drainage, and click Apply. And there's our network. Okay, so let's annotate it. Go to Drainage, View, Annotate Structures, and click Apply, and Close. And now let's zoom in a little bit, and our pipe length is annotated, our inlets are annotated with the inlet name, and our manhole is labeled. Okay, let's adjust these annotations a little bit. Let's go to Drainage, View, Annotate Structures, and in the drop-down list, choose which structures you want to edit. Let's start with pipes. Now in this list down here, let's scroll down to first thing we want to show is ID, so we'll click in the show column and we'll put that in position number uh, let's say 2 and you can put in a prefix or a suffix uh, we won't for right now. Okay, and below that we're going to display the pipe length which already has an X uh, for a prefix. Let's put L equals and we'll put that in position number one where it is and next we'll show the pipe diameter which in this case is known as the height so we'll click in the show column and for a prefix we'll put uh, D equals and then for a suffix we'll put space inches we'll put that in position negative one and for our last label we'll put in the slope click in the show column and we'll type in slope equals and for a suffix we'll put space percent and we'll put that in the negative two position okay and let's click apply and now you see our label's been updated and we can even edit that further. Come down here to symbology section, double click on that on pipe and let's change our text uh, let's say 0.05 and our line spacing 0.04 we'll click OK, let's click apply and uh, that looks a little bit better we'll click close and now let's adjust our inlet label so we'll come up to drainage view annotate structures choose inlets from the drop down list and we'll come down to ID will be the first thing that we'll label and we'll just go ahead and leave that that'll be in position let's put that in position number three and the next thing we're going to label are our inverts. Well, let's put our invert in and for a prefix let's put invert equals let's put that in position number two and let's label our invert out and that will be prefix invert equals and let's put that in position number one and we'll click apply and there's our invert label and like we did with the pipes we can edit that come down here to symbology let's double click on inlet let's click our text lock and let's put 0.05 and spacing 0.04 and we'll click OK let's click apply and it looks a little better and now uh, we can adjust our manhole labeling as well and we'll also add some drafting notes in the next part.